In this video, we'll cover how to add, edit and remove page content from the Foundation website. First, make sure you're logged into the editor so you can see the top editing bar and then navigate to the page you want to edit first. Your pages can be found by navigating from this main menu at the top of the website. And these are called your landing pages, which are the key navigational topics for patients to find all the information across your website. They will have secondary pages linking off from them. If you click on any page in the top editing bar, click the edit page link. This will take you into the page editor where you can make any edits that are needed. All of the text is formatted by block. So select any block to see formatting options floating above it. You can also move the blocks using the navigational arrows. Make any changes within the blocks and then click update in the top right corner to make changes immediately live. If you want to make several changes to a page with a lot of content, you might find it helpful to use the document overview option, which you can see in the top page editing bar. Click the hamburger icon and you'll see an index of all of your content on the page. As you go down this index, it will highlight where that content is on the page and you can actually manipulate the content in the index itself. So for example, if we wanted to move or delete an entire section of text that's composed of multiple blocks, if we first navigate to the section that we want to edit, and then in the index, hold Control Shift on your keyboard and select all the sections. These can then be deleted, or you can drag and drop them in the index to a different location on the page. changes can be undone whilst you're in the editor by using the undo and redo options. You can add pages to your foundation website by going to the top editing bar and hovering over the new option and in the drop down list select the page category. This will take you into a page template where you can add your content. And when you're done, click the publish button in the top right corner. This will make the page live on the website. However, it's important to note that this doesn't automatically link anywhere. So we just want to bear in mind that we'll need to go back into the website to add links so that patients can find this new topic. GP earnings will usually sit under policies. So in this example, we're going to go to About the Surgery to find the policies page. And this is styled like an index with different cards linking off to the individual policy pages. So if we edit this, we can see all the cards are in a group. If we select the border around the group, there'll be a shortcut option to add a new card. Now we can put in our heading for the new page. Highlight this text and use the link option in the text formatting bar here. We can type the keyword of the content we want to link to now that it's already been published. Here we can see it's come up as a page. Select this to apply the link. All of these cards are currently in alphabetical order. So we can use the arrows to shuffle it along until it sits where we need it. This might take a while, so you might find it easier to duplicate an existing card in the order that it already needs to be in. So if we select any card and in the formatting options, go to more options and then duplicate. You'll need to reset the text and the link and then reapply the new heading and the new link. Again, once you're done, make sure to click update to make those changes live. Now, if we navigate to the policies page, we can see that card has been added linking to our new GP earnings page. This is an example of one policy. However, there might be other topics that are a bit more vague and they can be linked in several different areas across the website. So it's important to consider this whenever you're adding new content. Links can be added anywhere from the footer of the home page. 
as well as in the body of text of other existing pages. You'll often find a list at the end of a page like this with related information, and these can be really easily edited. You can also delete pages from the Foundation website. However, we would recommend that you be careful doing this. There are many links throughout the Foundation website that navigate patients to other topics. So if, for example, we ever wanted to delete a page with lots of links applied to it, it would then mean that all of those links can't be accessed by patients. You'd likely never need to delete your landing pages, such as appointments or prescriptions. However, secondary pages you can quite easily delete without affecting the main navigation of the website. So for example, those policies that we looked at before, all of these are standalone pages. So these can be deleted, but the only thing we need to bear in mind is that we want to remove those links from the index pages. So let's say we want to delete the GP earnings page. We're on the page here, so we'll go to edit page at the top. And then on the right hand menu, there'll be a move to trash button. This will delete the page permanently from the website. Now we can redirect back to the main site. We just want to make sure we go back into the policies page to edit this and remove the card that's linked to the GP earnings that no longer exist. Edit this page. And then in the list of cards, select the GP earnings card. And in the formatting options, click more options and then delete. That removes the card and now we can just update this page. If there are links to the page that have been deleted in several other areas of the website, you just want to make sure you go through and check so that you've removed all of those links. Again, they might be in places like the footer on the home page, or they might be within the body of text of other pages. So it might be useful to run a search for those keywords to see if it picks anything up that you might have missed.